More pushback after the governor signed a controversial election reform bill into law. Opponents now threatening to boycott the state and some of the biggest corporations based here. Shnu Her spoke to two political analysts to see if they think the pressure will lead to a reversal. Opponents of Georgia's new voting law are now putting more pressure on the state, threatening to boycott Georgia and some of the biggest corporations based here. Some of those changes include requiring an ID number to apply for an absentee ballot, cut off absentee ballot applications 11 days before an election, limit the number of absentee ballot drop boxes, and make it a misdemeanor to hand out food or water to voters in line. Movie director James Mangold is among some in the film industry tweeting he won't direct any more films in the Peach State because of the new law. A boycott could have some effect were it to actually impact Georgia economically. The executive director for Major League Baseball's Players Association told the Boston Globe some players want to move July's All-Star Game from Cobb County because they feel the law suppresses minority voters. And the National Black Justice Coalition is calling on professional golfers to refuse to play in the Masters in Augusta in April unless the law is repealed. Republican political consultant Mike Hassinger says in a sense, these boycotts could just be to make noise. But as we saw with similar boycotts in 2019 over the so-called heartbeat abortion bill, it can make waves. Most of Hollywood um, sat on its hands hands and waited for the courts to weigh in. Uh, the courts uh, uh, basically uh, reversed that law and it's sort of working its way through the courts now. If I run the defensive on this, I would take it very seriously. There are a lot of corporate brands at play here and generally corporate brands don't like this kind of attention. Joseph Watson Jr. teaches communications with a focus on public policy and politics at UGA. It's also worth noting that there has been some pushback by activists. For example, Dr. Bernice King, who opposed the bill but tweeted that a boycott would hurt middle class workers and those facing poverty and also pointed out it's important to understand the difference between boycotting the state and boycotting corporations. A federal lawsuit has already been filed over the new law. Well, this any part of this bill proves to violate the 14th Amendment. Uh, the courts are going to let uh, the legislator know they're going to strike it down. For more of the details on this law and how it impacts you, we've posted a link on 11alive.com.